Hey there guys, and welcome to episode 23 of my Pokemon Stadium Round 1 playthrough. On the last episode, we got through uh, rounds 3 through 6. Um, got all con perfect matches in each one, so we have 6 continues. Uh, a little excessive, but you know we got in case we do poorly for some reason. Uh, so now we're moving on to round 7, so let's go. Okay, so we got a um, water ice type, a fire type, a uh, grass type, I uh, got a water poison type, a grass poison, and a dratini. Okay, so obviously we're going to have to send out, um, let me think, we send out Jinx in case dratini comes out. Uh, if we need to, if we get a shelter, we can always switch out um, to, you know, Starmie or something. Uh, actually, no, um, not that. Probably go for Raichu just for electricity's sake. Or, yeah. I think electricity will do that. <laughs> Raichu out. Actually, no, um, let me see. go with Dragonite because it has Fire Blast too. Um, and then, as the last one, I guess we'll use, um, I guess we'll use Arcanine. Um, because it has a Fire type moves and a Ground type move to deal with uh, the several poison types on this, two or three poison types on this team. Alright, let's go. Okay, start off with Tentacle, so obviously it means we can go for a Psychic. So let's see how much damage that does. He didn't switch out, so we got this in the bag, might have this in the bag, depending. Critical hit, which means it's definitely going down. Actually, go for Psychic as well as Ice Punch, even though it doesn't resist it, just because Psychic is more powerful. Toxic, of course. Either Full Pixel or Nine Tails will either run Confuse Ray or Toxic, or both. Okay, more often than not, it's one or the other, but. Yeah, in the other cup they run Confuse Ray, in this one they tend to run Toxic. Of course, since you only take damage from Recoil or uh, Poison or anything like that, or Burn, um, when you don't take out the opponent, uh, we're probably not going to have to worry about Poison too much. Ah, Dratini, huh? Well, we've got Ice for that. So we'll go for Ice Punch. And that should either take it on two hits or take it out right away. Depending. Probably gonna... S oh, no, it didn't survive. Okay. Got out down in one hit. Well, that was... Could have been harder. I guess we just got lucky. That first critical hit probably helped. So we got out of that match. We got poisoned, but otherwise we finished without taking any damage. That's even harder to do. Alright, we're going to the last part. See on what team he has here. Okay, not not that great of a team. At least it's okay. So we got a fire type, a water type, uh, yeah, water water psychic type or water type. No, no enough slowbro psychic uh, slow poke is psychic yet until it gets slowbro. Anyway, at least it's a water type. We got a uh, ground type, uh, normal two normal types, and an electric type. Okay then, so um need someone to deal with the water and ice type, so we're gonna have to see who has ice and no one has ice and electricity at the same time. Oh wait, we have water so that'll work. So we'll send out um we'll send out Starmie to deal with uh the water slowpoke and like Diglett and um Flareon. And as far as skin, usually we don't have much for normal types. Oh, uh, well, actually, no, we do have Nidoqueen, and it can't take any damage from Magnemite, so we'll send it out next. And um, it also has Fine Type Moves to come out the rest. I guess the rest, the last one would be for um, extra typing that we needed. 
So I guess in that case we'll go with um, Arcanine. Unless the only problem will be if we run into Diglett, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take it out with someone else before that comes to the uh, comes to be. Okay, so it's Flareon, which is a good advantage right now, so let's go for a bubble beam. Critical hit, which means I should take it out. Oh, no, nope, it still survived, okay. Oh, well, Bite's actually normal type, there's no dark types yet, so it doesn't affect us as much. Obviously it becomes a dark type move in Generation 2, but in Generation 1 there was no dark type, so we don't have to worry about, um, Bite. We'll go for another bubble beam, and then that's that. Okay, so who do we have coming up next? Guess we'll find out. And it is Slowpoke. Okay. Uh, well, we have Thunder for that one, so go for that. That should... Yeah, that'll take it out. Okay. So who's last? At least make it somewhat challenging. Okay, meow. So go for a bubble beam, honestly. Maybe even lower its speed, which won't really matter. But critical hit. Okay, so that, that's gonna take it out. Okay, a critical hit definitely helped because I'm sure we um, would have survived otherwise. So that's uh, that's Poke Prime Cup Pokeball, um, nice and quick. So we didn't need any of our continues. Uh, not too bad. We got all perfect in every match. So here we go. The Pokeball Trophy for the Prime Cup is officially ours. So now we can move on to the much more difficult uh, Great Ball Cup for. Alright. Alright, here we go. Okay, so now number one. And as usual they have they share a decent amount of weaknesses. Okay. So we got a bug and grass type, two bug types. Uh, fire type, uh, normal type, and uh, bug poison type. Um, most of those are actually can deal be pretty much handled by Needle Queen. Uh, even with actually, Needle Queen can take out every one of those Pokemon, so Needle Queen is definitely going first. Um, then there's a second precaution, I guess. We'll go for a uh, fire type move, and it also is Earthquake too, so we'll go for Arcanine, and then. Um, the last move, I guess, would just be, um, I guess, I don't know, Jinx doesn't do much, uh, so at this point it doesn't really matter, because I got better coverage anyway. So I'll just go for Jinx, and it's the second and last option. I'm going to deal with, um, I just can't deal with any of them properly. Some of them are part grass, so we can do that. For a rock slide. String shot, okay. Um, that didn't even work anyway, and even if it did work, I'm pretty sure we'd still be faster than that. Um, so I'm just gonna go for an uh, earthquake to make sure I actually do some damage. Um, Go. All right. Let's see who's up next. Either a fire type or some sort of like I don't know. Parasect. Okay. So 
I'll get up for a rock slide before it tries to use dig. Or probably just a grass type move, actually. That didn't do much at all. Mega Drain. Okay, we might have a problem here. Depending on how much damage it does. Uh, not enough, really, so I can stay in with uh, Middle Queen. Alright, so we should be able to take out the next hit, even if I was going for growth. Um, that shouldn't help, because I think... Actually, I know how the typing works for these moves. Um, I think most moves are special based, but Rock Slide, I would think it would be physical, considering it's throwing rocks. I guess, I guess it, yes, at least that one they got right. Alright, so that one's done, so this last one's coming out. Of course, it's likely going to be a Bug type, or a Fire... Maybe a Charmeleon? Okay, it's Charmeleon. Uh, so it'll be better to actually use a stab earthquake rather than go for rock slide and have a chance to miss. So I go for earthquake. Should seal the rest of the victory. Goes faster, but seriously, at, when you're about to get taken out, using growl against a ground type when they're a fire type is kind of stupid. So this is going to easily take it out. It's no problem. Oh, okay, not quite. But can we go on this? Oh yeah, because it reduced our attack, so that actually did help it. Um, not really in the long run, but... You know, whatever. Hmm. Did some decent damage. But it isn't going to matter in the end because we're going to take it out right now. First perfect of the Great Ball variant. So that'll help at some point. Go on to round two now. Okay. So this time we got one psychic type, one water type, uh, one ground type, one poison type. Alright, two poison types, excuse me. I, no, three poison types. <laughs> okay. So, obviously we're going to send in Nidoqueen. Queen. Um, not sure send it in first, though. Let's see. Uh, actually, yeah, because it's... Either way, it's going to be weak against... Uh, weak, either Nidoqueen Queen or Mark and I are going to be weak against water type moves, so it doesn't really matter who I send in. Um, so I'm just going to... I'll send in Nidoqueen Queen first. And then, um... Guess... Uh, Raichu to deal with the, um, no, Dragonite to deal with it, so I don't have to worry about, uh, Sandshrew. And then, lastly, I guess, um, let's do Arcanine for Earthquake, and then, you know, all out, Kusa going all out with Earthquake. There was just, Dragonite was just Water too, so it won't be a problem if I do end up coming up against Poliwhirl. Alright, so we are against Sancho this time, so I'm going to actually kind of fake him out and go to Dragonite. So he goes for a ground type move, it won't work at all. Okay, so what did it pick? Oh, I see, because it was originally poison typing. Yep, makes sense. Uh, we'll go for, uh, just go for a slam, because we'll, um, let's try Fire Blast, see how much it does first. And if not, we'll go for, um, a slam. Because it has, uh, you know, it's lower physical defense, and none of these moves are stab, so. Hypnosis, okay. And where there's Hypnosis, there's Dream Eater. Do I have anyone who can resist that? I'll go for Arcanine. Cause I know it's going to go for... It's going to go, go for Dream Eater or some other random move that I can s deal with. Because I can't use some notes anyway, so it's not a problem. Disable. Well, that's not going to work because I didn't use a move yet. Alright, so I'll go for... 
go for a Fire Blast because it can't do the sleep clause in this game. You can't put two Pokemon to sleep at the same time. Or freeze two Pokemon at the same time. So I don't have to worry about that. And just like you also can't explode on the last turn. That kind of thing. So I can't use uh, Hypnosis on me. So sometimes you can actually, in this kind of game, you can actually use it as a strategy. And I get confused. That's great. Okay. In that case, we're not going to go for Dig because we might have a chance to get confused in the middle of it. So hopefully so. Okay, he got confused. Again, some of the Pokemon it seems weird that they're, when they're confused. They're essentially trying to punch something when they're not only able to learn moves that even do that. So it's weird when you think about it. Alright, so go for another Fire Blast. Hopefully we can break out of confusion. At least resist it. No. And now I could disable my Fire Blast. Oh, it missed. Okay, so we have one more chance, depending on what happens. Hopefully we'll break out the confusion this time. Okay, good, we did. Alright, so next hit will take it out, no problem. And it's going to actually try to disable my Fire Blast this time. So, since it... Oh, Dig was disabled, okay. I forget, um, in the early games it just disables a random move as opposed to the one you used last time. It's weird when you come back to play old games and realize that the rules are different. Okay, that didn't really matter, but I'm sure. And it missed. Okay, it did matter. Headbutt. What's that going to do? We just barely survived that. Okay. Go for another Fire Blast and hopefully it'll get hit. I probably could have gone for a dig though, but, you know, it is what it is. And at least it made contact, so that makes up for it. Could have missed, though. It's 15%, but that seems to come into play more often than you'd I'd like. Alright. Yeah, what will the last one be? Nidorino. Well, I know I'm going to go first, so we're going to go for a dig. Lufus. In retrospect, I probably could just switch out to... Um, to, I think I had James on my team. Don't really remember, but I could have switched out. So if we, <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna take it out on one hit. If we do, then you know, so be it. And we did not. Oh, it's going for tail whip. <laughs> okay, that won't do a darn thing. So I'm just gonna go for dig again because I don't think dig can miss unless you actually uh, get it out or avoid it with fly or something or just lower their accuracy. So we'll go for a dig again. Either way, I think I'm going to switch out. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to actually switch out to Dragonite because uh, Sandshrew can't hurt it because, you know, it's a flying type. Um, it could probably learn Rock Slide, but I think it... I don't know. I'll just have to take that risk. Sand Attack, okay. Um, unfortunately I don't have any moves that are guaranteed to hit, so that will actually be an issue. Um, I can't hit with Thunder, Fire Blast won't do as much damage, so I have to go with Slam. So hopefully this guy wakes up. Nope. It always bugs me when they have a huge delay before they show the message, because it makes you think, oh, they're going to wake up. But then you find out, oh, no, they're not going to wake up, or you think they're going to stay asleep, and then it turns out, oh, they woke up. Just puts you in suspense when you don't need to be put in suspense. <laughs> so that should should wake up now, right? No. Okay. Um, Furious Wipes isn't very powerful, so I even missed this time. So I think once I do wake up, I can actually get it with a couple slams. Could try Fire Blast, but I don't think that's as good. Oh, there we go. Poison Sting. Uh, yeah, that's not going to do much. What will it do? It's a light hit. 
It's the only really good purpose of poison, but honestly, in that case, toxic is better. Uh, let's see, fire blast won't do much, so I think we'll see, we'll see how much slam does. Um, couldn't have it, won't be, it'll do normal damage, but, eh, one way to find it. There's one way to find it, and it missed. Great. Oh, that's right, it used sand attack on me, so that makes it harder. Oh, it does no slash. Okay, um, go for it and slam again. Hopefully it'll actually hit this time, since we have lowered accuracy. There we go, and that does not do much damage, but the other moves aren't exactly very effective either, so... I mean, they're literally not very effective. Alright, so the only thing I'm really worried about is uh, Slash, because that always gets a critical hit. Or at least, gets seems to get it all the time. I know there's, it's only has a better critical hit ratio, but still it hits a lot, and it does a lot of damage, as you just saw earlier. Okay, it's so going for Slash. I'm not too sure about this one, so I'm I'm still trying to get it perfect on here, so I'm going to go for a ground-type move. Um, this thing can learn ground-type move like Dig and Earthquake, but I'm the, well, it wouldn't use it on me anyway because it's a flying-type. So hopefully we can take this thing out. Because uh, two of Pokemon are officially weak now, so... Uh, Earthquake doesn't do... does normal damage to ground types, so I'm just gonna go for Earthquake then. It's stab. Alright, there we go. And although two of our Pokemon got weakened, we still finished it without losing anybody, so we get a second continue. Rather close though, because of that slash and this slam missing. Alright, well that's that. Um, so the next, battle, next episode will go into Battle 3, so I'll catch you guys next time. Okay, bye.